Good morning, once again, we're back here in uh, Shadari this morning. Um, it's about 10 o'clock or something at the moment. Um, everyone's just getting ready. And we're gonna head down, we're gonna go get some coffees. And then we're gonna go to the Pantocrata Monastery today. And hopefully we're looking at going to some beaches afterwards and uh, exploring some of the scenery of Corfu. So we'll take you along with us. I'll, I'll see if I can record or not in the monastery. Obviously it depends what happens when we get there. And yeah, it should be a good day. We've been told that they speak English here. Um, so we should be able to have some interesting conversations and then they've got a little cafe where we'll probably get a bite to eat after. So we'll, uh, we'll see you when we get there. So today, um, we can call this bit. <laughs> so here I am this morning, this is our local church in Sadari before we went to uh, Pantocrata Monastery and they've had a divine liturgy on this morning so afterwards we've come to um, meet the several priests here so we've come to meet the priests and the, <clears throat> and the laity um, and they said that we're, they're happy for us to record inside so we'll head inside now Today on the new calendar was the um, Feast of St. Thomas. Let's go visit the altar. <coughs> the Iconostasi, which goes right up to the ceiling with the cross, touching the ceiling, if you can see that. Outside. They actually have a speaker system out here, so there's some speakers over in there. When they have the services on, they play it through the speakers. So all the tourists walking past can actually hear the services happening and they ring the bells that are up there before the services and at the end of every services and the bells ring. I mean we can hear them all the way in our apartment. You know, which is which is a way way down that way, um, probably over a mile away, I'd say. So, yeah, and it's it's, it's really interesting, and there are quite a few of them here that, that speak English, um, which is obviously, you know, they they engage with the locals, and you see people sitting outside and finding it interesting. Um, so. Yeah, it's a very, very beautiful little parish. Um, so, we're gonna head up to Pantocrata in a bit. Um, we've been told that there are no monks there, but um, we'll head up there and we'll see what happens when we get there. So, see you on the next bit. So, we're currently on the way to Pantocrata Monastery, and we have just drove up this massive hill on the right-hand side of the road, which was absolutely petrifying. Um, it's literally, I don't know if you can see behind me, but it is just, straight drop down the right hand side of the road so hopefully coming back we'll be hugging that and it'll be a bit easier but um as we were coming up the road uh, there's a little lay by here and we've come across this i guess it's a little chapel at the side of the road in here so um yeah it was just we pulled up and it was like this and it had a little cross on the top as you can see there and uh yeah when you go in there's uh there's a few icons and stuff so I'll, uh, I'll stop the camera now and I'll, I'll turn it around and I'll, I'll show you the inside of it. So this is the inside of it, it's a little bit dark, but uh, we've got a, an oil lamp there, some candles, some beautiful icons, um, some matches and stuff as well. So yes, this is just at, at the side of the road. So it's, um, yeah, it's really incredible. It really is. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next bit. Bye for now. So, we've come from the seaside resort of Sidari. And uh, yeah, you can see how far down that is. That is nowhere near 
the height that we are. So yeah, we've come from down at that level and we've drove all the way up these very dangerous Greek roads. But uh, that, sh that has to be the monastery there. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to film inside, but we'll, we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, but we're nearly there and we're going to try and walk the rest of the way. But we're going to go check this. Where are the beaches? They're there, John. <laughs> yeah, where are the oh, beaches, John? That. John, you promised us a beach, mate. It's actually there. That little bit of land there. That's where it is. Oh, is it? You can actually see it somewhere. Don't look like a beach, mate. That looks like a long, long way away. Uh, yeah, should we go check that building up back there first? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Right, we'll walk down here and I'll uh, I'll see you all in a second. It looks like... Uh, yeah. Oh, so this is locked. Yeah, which means they don't want us to go in. Well, not this entrance, but there was another bit around there. We and can it have a look. looks kind of like it's abandoned. It kind of does. It does. It does. Well, maybe that's why they don't want us in that bit, because the other bit, I think, was open. We'll just go and see. Well, maybe it's maybe it's not open. I mean, it'd be a long way to come to go to church. Yeah. I mean, not as long as you'd have to go in England. So I don't know how much of that last bit I actually recorded because uh, there was an oopsie with the battery, <laughs> and it died um, halfway through recording. But basically, we went down to the little church that was down there, and it looks like two disused churches. Um, one of the gates was locked and the other one was, was shut with a bolt. Um, so we decided not to go in, but we'll, we'll head up to the monastery and we'll, we'll try and ask them about it and see, yeah, see if there's any more information about it. So, see you when we're up there. So here we are. We've uh, made it to the top. Uh, that's the monastery back there and there's a cafe where we'll probably, probably try and get some lunch. Um, not to show us this way at the moment, but there's a few people going down there, but it looks mostly like radio towers and then, I mean, that's a view from behind us. As far as I'm aware, that's Albania over there. Um, and obviously this is all going back down to Corfu, so we are really high up now. Um, yeah, and then that's obviously the view going back that way. So... Yeah, in a second we'll, we'll, uh, we'll head up towards the monastery and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's there. Right, see you shortly. Yeah, this is the grounds of the monastery now. We've uh, got some keys up here. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know what, uh, Oh, the buildings are far. I guess that's some kind of shop over there. I'm gonna go loop around, guys, and come back. Um, so I'll walk on the outsides, and then I'll go in the inside and see if I can find anyone and have permission to to record. Um, I don't mind so much when it's just the outside, but inside it's, it's definitely better to get permission, really. But uh. Yeah, I mean, the views are, are stunning. Um, yeah, this is a really, truly beautiful place.
they seem to have a lot of these in Greece. I've seen loads of them walking around Corfu yesterday. Um, yeah, just to the side of the road, and some oil lamps, some candles, and some icons. Very different to back home. I'm going to go ahead and sign now. Um, and hopefully, there's someone there that I can ask about recording. But, um, yeah, we'll see. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in the next bit and hopefully, I can get some footage from the inside. Bye for now. So, I've um, I just spoke to the father um, and he's, he's blessed me to record um, anywhere on the site, which was, uh, yeah. Very kind of him. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll take you inside now. It's, 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 it's utterly beautiful. So yeah, that was the uh, the inside of the church. Um, incredibly beautiful. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, go see what's inside uh, some of the other buildings now. Um, yeah, <coughs> not sure where the, uh, the father's the father's gone. I would like to find out about both the church down there and also um, what where all the monks went because yeah there, there were there were monks there I'm not sure when they went but the, yeah, it's by far the most famous monastery in Corfu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is Maria Jaka? Uh, 
Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 So we um, <coughs> just went into the shop and uh, John got himself a lovely icon and we, uh, <coughs> we spoke to the lady in the shop and she explained that um, the, re the reason why there are no monks here is because the last monk left and um, unfortunately no one has come back here so um, the father over there is, 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 is maintaining it, making sure everything's kept, you know, nice. Um, but unfortunately for the, for the time being th there, isn't anyone, there isn't anyone here. Um, she said that the nearest um, monastery with monastics in it is Agros, um, which isn't near, but <clears throat> isn't too far. Um, so we're looking at maybe trying to go there. Um, she said that it's nuns there, but she said men are men are allowed to go. Um, and then we've just been sat speaking to the father, um, and he said that um, there's um, a parish um, up in the north that we need to go take a look at. Um, um, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely go there later. So we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next bit. So we're just leaving the uh, Pantocrata Monastery now. Um, while we were there, we've um, spoke to a few people and we've been recommending some other places to visit. Um, John's currently driving down this incredibly treacherous mountain. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's next level driving. It really is. If you can see down there, that's you know that's the road that we've got to go down and back up and, and around. Yeah, and it really is. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And and the Greeks, they just they just fly up here, man. They just yeah, they're clearly used to it, and they're just like, I'm going, I'm getting where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, we're driving down now, and uh, we're gonna go to the beach. Um, and just taking some of the lovely scenery of Corfu and think you know people are going to read a few books and maybe we'll go for a swim and stuff so I'll probably record a little bit while we're there show you the beach and then we'll just sort of enjoy our time there and we'll we'll, we'll catch up you all in a bit but um yeah well worth going to Panda Crow Monastery and um, if you are coming to Corfu do remember there's no monastics there now uh, as I said before and um, they have left but it is a beautiful place and well worth the visit um, yeah, just be wary of the drive, have your wits about you. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll, we'll go to, probably try and go to another monastery tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be some monks there. Um, and yeah, you'll get to see that. So yeah, God bless you all and we'll see you in the next little bit. Bye for now. So that's it. We've just got onto the uh, air roads. We made it down the treacherous Greek mountain alive. The Kia Picanto held up. Um, and yeah, there were no no accidents or anything like that, but incredibly <laughs> treacherous mountain, and the roads in this place are treacherous already. But we're on the way to the beach now. Um, I won't record any more footage on the way to the beach, but yeah, we're gonna go there. Uh, I'll show you what the beach is like when we get there, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna spend some time there, and we'll 
we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. So God bless you all and I'll see you when we get to the beach. So we're back on the road uh, and it turns out John in his infinite wisdom brought a map and he actually brought it with him. So we have just left this beach here um, and there is another beach down here which doesn't even have a road that goes to it so that should be pretty secluded. So we're currently coming back on this yellow road here if you can see that and there should be a left turn in shortly and uh, car up and we will take this left turn in and then there should be a footpath which takes us to a nice secluded beach so yeah we're gonna see see how things pan out and uh hopefully we get to a nice secluded beach where people at least have some level of clothing on let's find out So here we are, literally straight away after I finished the video, we came across the left turn in, um, but it's blocked off and you don't have to take cars off, cars up the road. So we've parked the car up, and we'll walk up now and see what's up there. It's also a nature reserve, so hopefully there's some beautiful scenery on the walk up. So yeah, let's see what happens. So after a most treacherous walk along this crazy path, where I definitely should have put my boots on for, that are in the car, we appear to be down at the beach. Um, oh, and there are people here. Right, yeah. So I made it to the beach. Well, uh, yeah, beautiful. So we're gonna... I'm gonna stop here for a bit and then uh, yeah we'll catch up with you later. Whoa, hey, hey, there is an alcove there. Yeah. Can we get down to it? it looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right. As it happens, I literally started recording as you said that. Let me come up. <laughs> well I'll have a look. You can come have a look, but yeah, I don't I, I don't think getting down is particularly gonna be easy. Well, if you went down here on the wrong Oh mate, that is pretty sick. <laughs> Isn't it? That's pretty cool, man. Done it. One second. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Getting down wouldn't be the biggest problem. It'd be getting back out. Well, we could get out by swimming round if we absolutely had to. You know, like there's no option. But, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Fair point. Beautiful view as well. Um, where's Johnny Boy at? There he is. Plus, it, it's not like there's even, you could even. You could get down that thing. You could, but. Yeah, I, the, the thing is, mate, is nobody wants to break a leg. Yeah, one slip up and you're pretty much. You're and then you go to a Greek trouble. hospital and you can, yeah. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. I you know, if we were at home, I'd maybe consider it, mate, but. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it, like. Gotta be sensible. But I think we might be able to get round. Yeah, it's possible. 
watch your step. Right, so <clears throat> the plan is, is there's another alcove over there. So we need to try and get down here without anyone breaking a leg. And we're going to walk around, see the other alcove. And uh, go see that one. Here we are, coming up to the alcove now. It's a little bit more sandy around here. But it's still, uh, it's not the beach that was labelled Sandy Beach, right? That's for sure. Sandy Beach, turn left. Oh. There's a lot of secluded. Don't actually think it's an alcove, you know, but I think it's secluded enough. No, I think you're being proud of there. Ah. <laughs> ah, the alcova! <laughs> no one at home's gonna get that joke. It's an internal joke to the trip. Oh, what's that island? Oh, yeah. Look at that. How strong a swimmer are you guys? Fancy swimming halfway to Albania. <laughs> oh, that bit is an alcove then. I thought that went in behind those rocks. Right, okay. So we're gonna go see if we can get get around here. We might. So shit, we just took a dunk in this thing. And it's honestly lovely. It feels quite cold to begin with. But once you're in, you're uh, you're in, and it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. I'd love to swim out of at the island, but I think it's just too far. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, Corfu Beach, really nice, and uh, I think we're going to just spend some time enjoying ourselves now and then we'll uh, see you when we leave, in a bit. I don't really know what happened there, um, I was swimming with it and uh, it seemed to turn off. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's the battery dying or what, because uh, sometimes these batteries aren't really the best. But uh, yeah, we just uh, we took a swim out to the alcove and, and it was really, really nice over there. And now we're just going to lie down for a bit and uh, probably go back to the car shortly to get some food later on. See you in a bit. So this is just a quick one. We're uh, back at the apartment now. Um, it was a long drive home, quite eventful. Um, I think we're all really tired though. Um, so we're going to go, we've got some stuff to sort out and then we're going to get changed. And we're gonna go and head into town, get some food, and then we'll uh, see you all tomorrow. So, goodbye for now. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know what uh, what the buildings are for. I guess that's some kind of shop over there. I'm gonna go loop around, guys, and come back. Um, so I'll walk on the outsides, and then. I'll go in the inside and see if I can find anyone and get permission.